Man, I love this weather. Yeah, if we could only just had this for the entire month of July. Now, something to, that we need to understand. Yes, very low humidity. It feels comfortable, comfortably cool nights. When we lose the humidity, we also seem to lose our chances for storm. So I don't want to say we're moving into a dry pattern. No, there are still chances that we have in the forecast, but not quite as uh, often as what we experienced for much of this month. 80 degrees right now, Harrisburg National Airport. We got a dew point of 54, relative humidity at 40%. Dew points the last couple of weeks have been in the 60s, low 70s. So a 50 degree dew point means less moisture in the air. And that just means everybody is just a little happier to be outside and perhaps out a little bit longer. Talking about rain, since we're not seeing a whole lot this week, Let's talk about the rain that we did have. It's the last day of July, so we had seven inches of rain this month. This is just for the month of July in Mifflintown. We go to Wildwood Park in Harrisburg, about six and a quarter, about five and a half for West Perry and Elliottsburg, Lancaster Country Day School at five inches of rain. This was this was a good July, and a lot of things are now looking green. We're greener now, the middle of summer than what we were to start off our growing season back in May and June. Here's a satellite and radar to show you that we've got every once in a while some cumulus clouds, and that's just telling us that we got some cool air aloft, which is telling me that maybe we don't need that air conditioner quite as often here for the next couple of nights too. We've got a couple of nights this morning. I hit 59 and I think we got a couple of nights. Some of us, especially valley locations could drop into the, uh, the upper 50, so it feels nice have uh, sort of this trough, just a little instability, more instability showers off toward uh, New England, upstate New York. We have a ridge of high pressure. Notice where it's coming from uh, up toward Canada. That's moving in our direction, so that's going to keep us dry for a little while. So staining the deck or painting, pouring concrete, uh, all three. OK, not bad as we have here the next couple of days, low humidity through Wednesday. Humidity then begins to bounce back up with uh, higher dew points toward Thursday and Friday. I'm going to say a chance of evening storms. There is a front Thursday into Friday, and then perhaps another front that returns then on Sunday, neither of which really look like big promising chances for storms. And that's why I said this could be maybe one of our drier weeks. I should, I was going to say of July, but I got to keep telling myself this is the last day of dry, uh, July. So uh, <laughs> one of the, maybe a drier week for August, we can say that. Yeah, my look summer's going to an end quickly. I know, oh, yeah, I that's that funny. A earlier. Oh. Oh. Blue skies, you know, I saw the blue skies and I said it's a, it's a blue day.